Damn, my head. Watch more scary videos, Blast. Like, you know what I mean? Look, if I've got to deal with it, then you've got to suffer too. That's why we're here today time to watch top 20th scary videos of the year. And uh, I've got fellow scared person and close homie, Zaid, AKA Malcolm, AKA, uh, homeboy. You don't think I know what I'm doing? You don't think I know what I'm doing? <laughs> I'm doing it for us, doing it for us. Think about it. <laughs> if you guys have not seen a skit called The First Black Person to Say the N-Word, Go watch that. Yeah, I mean, it is hilarious. Even if you're not black, you you gonna laugh. Like, it's funny. Let's do this before I change my mind and just go watch Flash Gits instead. Top 10 scary videos of ghosts and creepy things. The road to nowhere. Paranormal investigators from the YouTube channel Paranoiacs travel to a secluded forest road in the mountains of Germany. No. The roadway is said to be haunted by the restless spirit of a young woman named Elizabeth, who tragically no. passed away oh, in an accident on the road over 40 years ago. Why would you go Locals there? Locals refer to the ghost that haunts the roadway as, quote, the woman in black. Is the Paranoiacs are driving down the lone forest road in hopes of capturing anything supernatural on camera. What happens next is downright chilling. Nope. Nope. I don't do none of this. No! 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 God! God! What? What the hell? No! What the hell? No! Where did you go? No! No! Why would you stop, bro? What are you doing? White people don't! White people don't! Dude, she got it at Chicago. Let's grab it. Let's be safe. Where would you go? Oh, why would you check? I'm not checking. Did you move? Yeah, but I'm not sure. Ama bir şey vardı orada. Ben de bir şey gördüğüm gibi son anda sanki böyle Aynen, son an... gölge sandım. <gülüyor> Dikkat et. Daha ışıkları çıkartmadık ya. Abi burada olması gerek. Baksana. Nereye gidecek? Buraya doğru insan çıkamaz ki. A strange woman dressed in all black can be seen standing at the side of the road. The paranoiac team is shocked and quickly back up their car. But the woman has just disappeared. They get out of their car and search, but she's nowhere to be found. Three months later, and the Paranoiax team return to the same road and bring along friends. They park their car, set up a static camera, and set out to explore. But while they are away, their static camera captures something truly terrifying. Oh, hell no. Oh, no. Oh no. You don't see that? It's walking towards where you they see went. That? It's walking towards where they went. Yeah. No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I don't do that. How damn almighty I don't you just do that. Up with somebody? Bruh! It's all bad, bro. There's something else that popped up. Something else popped up? Yeah. Damn. I didn't even see that. As the static camera records, a translucent apparition walks Look. across the road and disappears into thin air. When the Paranoiax team returns, they don't see anything or anyone around. They don't even discover what they have captured until later when they review their footage. So could this be the spirit of Elizabeth, the quote, woman in black, endlessly wandering and lost on the lone forest road? Let me know what you think. You can find oh more spooky videos over on the YouTube channel, Paranoiacs. I don't know what I'm doing. The Sixth Sense. In another strange video, Reddit user ACC6894 says that his brother's girlfriend has two German Shepherds. A CCTV camera records the dogs who have been left home alone one night. They begin to act very strangely. And then this happens. The dog 
Mark seemed disturbed by something in the corner of the room. Then suddenly a chest drawer comes flying out at them, startling the poor doggies. Reddit user ACC6894 has no idea what happened to the dogs and believes the CCTV might have recorded something paranormal. But what do you think happened here? Let me know. Follow Damn. home. Ghost Hunter Robert from That's the Paranormal Investigation Team Para yep. Evident claims that ever since they went to the allegedly haunted Montanay Hotel in Arkansas on an investigation, something seems to have followed him home to his apartment. That's what he happened. says his lights flicker, electronic devices turn on and off on their own, and creepiest of all, he's seen horrifying apparitions in his home. The entire Para Evident team decide to investigate the haunting in Robert's home. During the investigation, Robert and team member Joshua set up an SLS camera and begin to ask questions through a spirit box phone app. What happens next is truly bizarre. Bro, my nigga said a spirit box phone app. They got up everything now. Everything. What do your breasts look like? Can you show yourself? Did you see it? A pale figure can be seen passing by the TV in Robert's bedroom. Strangely enough, the apparition can only be seen on the SLS camera. Oh. Josh and Robert have no idea what this bizarre figure could be, and they believe it just might be the dark entity that's haunting Robert's apartment. But what do you think? You can find more very spooky videos over on the YouTube channel, Para Evident. Evident, spelled with the three. House tour gone wrong. Nuke's top five viewer Paul sent in a video he recorded at his home in Glasgow, Scotland. Paul says that since his family moved into their new home, they've been hearing odd noises during the night and have had the strange feeling that they're just not alone. Paul has just always shrugged it off. But one day, Paul is recording a video of their new house to show his aunt, and things take a terrifying turn. Hi, Joe. Just thought I'd show you a quick tour of the house. This is the cupboard. This is the hallway, actually, and the cupboard's nothing much in there. It's not very big, but it's all right. Stairs to upstairs, I'll show you that in a bit. I'll show you the uh, bathroom first. So, it's all right, isn't it? We've got a proper bar, sink and toilet. That's it. What more do you want? There's nothing else. I've got a shower there as well. Um, it's all right, it's nice and clean. Man, I don't like this music. All right, all right. What is he doing right now? I'll show you the, uh, the kitchen first. So you come in, living space, turn left, it's kitchen. It's not very light, not light, it's not very good. So it's, yes, we've got a hog on the washing machine. It's quite a big old kitchen, actually, if you have a look. So we haven't actually got two fridge freezers. This one broke down a few months ago. We just haven't been able to get rid of it. It's too big to fit in the car and that. Um, but other than that, yeah. Um, little garden out the back. We built the shed last summer. Uh, but it's right. But I like this. It's fair, so it's got that breakfast bar and the oven and all that stuff so yeah 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 it's good it's good all right so living space uh little front of our house that's supposed to be a little driveway where it should have a drop curb but it hasn't um what was that evie yeah. she's been jumping up on the surfaces quite a bit but actually knocked something over and got spooked in oh man you're having some sort of laugh aren't you? what you see that What the hell? Paul hears the sudden sound of a broom falling in his kitchen, and when he goes to check it out, all the cabinet doors have suddenly opened. Paul can't believe what he has witnessed and just stops recording. In his email, Paul explains that he was pretty spooked by the experience. And, well, who wouldn't be? So what would you do if this were to happen to you? I'm going out the window. Let me know. Down in the comments, imaginary friend. TikTok user Genevieve Swafford claims that four years ago she recorded a video when she suddenly heard her young daughter Laura Lee talking to someone, even though they were the only ones at home at the time. Years go by, and eventually Genevieve goes back through her old videos and is shocked when she discovers that she might have actually captured what her young daughter was talking to. Come here. Oh! Lily, who are you playing with? 
What are you doing? Her mom, Genevieve, doesn't seem to see, but it looks like a shadow walks right behind little Loralee. Genevieve asks her daughter who she's playing with, but the girl has no answer. So could it be that Genevieve's house is haunted and her daughter could see the spirit? Maybe even talk to it? Or could this video just be an elaborate TikTok hoax? You decide. Creepy Crawler This next strange video was emailed to me by Mohammed Al-Badri from the city of Aden in Yemen. Mohammed claims that his friend was driving home when he spotted something absolutely terrifying. The man allegedly pulled out his phone and started to record. A horrifying pale creature with six legs comes scurrying out from behind a dumpster. Muhammad's friend is shocked and quickly just gets out of there. Now, I'm in no way saying that this is real, but it's definitely very creepy, and if fake, it's very well done. Man, that's messed up, bro. I, I really thought. It do look like it could be a CGI. Yeah, it definitely looks like it could be CGI. It does. But when I first saw it, I thought it was real because it's on the nukes. Yeah, so I exactly. was like, oh, God, it's over. No, I, I got to get all of my kids, and I, we get into all of our seven stretched minivans, and we get the hell out of here because the world as we know it is over. So is it real, or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Off the grid. I would say hope. YouTuber Kevin Lake and his wife Dearly from the YouTube channel Homesteading Off the Grid have made their home on a remote patch of land in central Virginia. After moving to their new secluded country home, they began to notice strange things in the woods around them. One day Kevin's neighbor is taking a walk through the woods near their property line and he starts to notice movement in the forest. He takes out his phone and begins to record and he soon spots something Truly bizarre. Man, you can't um you can't zoom in? Right, that's right. Oh, okay. What is it? I don't look like a I look like a person? Is it? Is that like a long neck dinosaur or something? I don't know, I just seen two legs stand up, so that's not that person. Definitely a type of person. It don't really look that scary to me. I... More like a wild animal. More like a, like a monkey or something. More like a homeless person or something. Yeah, I am. Can't really see. Someone or something appears to be skulking around in the woods near a cave, just watching the man. Curious viewers of Kevin's channel believe it could be anything from a hiding squatter, a hunter, a backpacker, and then there are some viewer explanations that are a bit more out there, like claims that this is a skinwalker or a sasquatcher or even an entity wearing an invisibility cloak. What? Hmm. Either way, Kevin and his neighbor have no idea who or whatever this is. And yep, they found Hagrid ah. wearing the indivisibility cloak from Harry Potter. That makes sense. Hagrid. Why it would be on their property. Back to church. Hell no. A while ago, I featured paranormal investigators David and Dell from the YouTube channel Signs and Signals. 
The two friends have been investigating an allegedly haunted church in Chester, South Carolina that is over 200 years old. Long ago in the early 1900s, it's believed that the church was the site of dark ritualistic ceremonies. David and Dell hadn't gone back to the church for a long time until one day they happened to drive through the city of Chester and recorded something bizarre that they still can't explain. It's a, dude, it's a candle. Oh snap. <laughs> oh God. Oh After the terrifying experience, David and Dell decided to go back to the church for one more late night investigation. What? Not long after entering the creepy building, the two friends witnessed something truly chilling. Why would they go back? Let me just grab the cam. Never go back to ass quick. Huh? Bruh, never return to ass quick. Oh, Bruh. hell no. See, no one's got us before. No. We see something back here. Ah! That's what I told you. Congratulations. You played the yourself. chair slides across the floor completely on its own. And the guys here, decide to take a break outside to gather their courage before continuing their investigation. Oh Eventually, they head back yep. inside and they sit down back. on the church they pews. Knew it was there. They begin to ask questions of the entity that may be haunting the building. And something seems to answer. So we know you're here. And... We're respectful of you. Just talk to us. There's something you want to tell us, I guess, right? What the hell? If you don't understand me, I want you to nod once for yes and twice for no. Can you understand me? I know you heard that. Oh yeah. Oh, Damn, so why are you here? As David and Dell record, a dark shadow-like mass seems to walk past the doorway right in front of them. Now the two guys didn't even notice the figure until they reviewed their footage later. But since the investigation, the two friends have decided not to return to the church for a while. Just let you guys know that we might slow down on going to the church as often. Things have been going on in our personal lives since we've been going back there more. Me and David are starting to have experiences in our own houses. And it's really annoying when you can't get good sleep at home because you'll be waking up in the middle of the night to bangs. You're thinking, oh, somebody's breaking into my house. Nobody's there, nothing's in there, nobody's awake, startles everyone. Hopefully just kind of straying away from the church a little bit might help because it really only started to heat up once we started to go there. So did David and Dell capture real paranormal activity on camera at the church? Let me know what you think. As I said, Papa's you can smart. watch more footage and investigations Bruh. at the Haunted Church over on their YouTube channel, Signs and Signals. A Walk in the Woods. One very early morning before daybreak, Nick Foster takes his cute little dog, Poppy, into the woods near his home and records a video of Poppy chasing squirrels through the dark forest. Later, when Nick looks back at his video, he notices something that gives him the creeps. Hell no. Right before Nick stops recording, someone or something can be seen in the woods right in front of him. Nick says he was completely alone and no one else would have been there in the hours when he recorded this footage. That could be old Nick man. says he's very skeptical oh, no. of the paranormal, that. but that. he does believe that he might have captured an apparition. Awesome. So could this strange pale figure be a ghost? 
or just someone randomly out for a stroll through the dark woods. So I'm playing them games. Strangely all dressed in white. Let me know what you think. Cool. This way. The secret shadow. Paranormal researcher Chriselle Luna sets out to investigate an abandoned house now turned into a warehouse in Michoacan, Mexico. The house was left abandoned after the owner, an elderly woman who lived there her whole life, passed away a few years ago. The old building is now used as a warehouse to store grains and many local workers claim to have seen the terrifying apparition of a woman aimlessly wandering the property. One night, Chriselle and her friend Melissa investigate the warehouse, but besides some odd noises, they don't really experience or capture much of she anything. Like moving keys. However, mm -hmm. when Chriselle posts her video to YouTube, many of her viewers spot something in her video footage that she didn't even notice. Something very creepy. Ahorita vamos a ingresar a ahí dentro para que ustedes puedan ver, pero sí me gustaría pues me gustaría pedir la presencia. Es algo que he estado haciendo últimamente, pedir la presencia de este ser, de los seres que ya no están en este mundo, que ya están en el más allá, y que de alguna forma estoy escuchando ruidos ahí adentro. Estoy escuchando ruidos ahí. A ver si logramos ver algo. Ay, escucho ruido, escucho ruido. ¿Quién anda ahí? No sé si aquí tengan un gato, un perro, se están escuchando ruidos extraños. Nope. Absolutely not. ¿Quién anda aquí? No, hay, no hay nada. Aquí se estaban escuchando los ruidos. Did you see it? Chriselle has just started her investigation when an unexplained dark figure can be seen walking inside the abandoned home. Neither Chriselle or her friend see the creepy apparition, but they can both hear strange noises coming from inside. But when they go in and inspect the room, there's just no one there. So did Chriselle capture the old woman that is said to haunt the property? I guess we'll never know. Top 5 Ghosts caught on camera. Haunted. Single dad Alex Calvo inherited his estranged grandmother's house in Florida after her recent passing. So he and his daughters packed their bags and moved to the home to start a new life. The house has been in his family for four generations and has been left mostly untouched. In fact, when they move in, the home is still full of his grandmother's belongings. Alex begins Damn. to record moments from his family's move to the new house and shares his experiences on TikTok. When they first arrive, Alex posts a video of the event, but concerned viewers soon point out to him that there is something very disturbing in the video. Alex is shocked. Look at our new house. Wow. This is cool, right? Better than an apartment. Okay. Got everybody here. Heading on into the new house for the first time. All women. There they go. Yeah. See how scary. It's kind of scary, actually. Oh, look at all this stuff. Dollhouse for you, Salo. Go. Okay. Um, this kitchen's pretty nice. Ready? I'm gonna go out, Mama. Go close the door. Did you see it? When Alex walks past a mirror, a creepy dark figure can be seen in the reflection. Alex says that he has no idea what this could have been, but he decides to keep recording his experiences in the new house. A little what? over a month later and in the middle of the night, this happens. Okay, I just heard a loud bang out here. It's the middle of the night. Sounded like it was coming from the kitchen. Hello? This can't be too bad. Oh. Uh, hello? Is there somebody here? Is 
there's some in here. What the f Alex hears a loud banging, goes to investigate when a chair suddenly just moves on its own. Oh! Hello? I didn't see that. Oh, Oh! And then, only two weeks later, he films another chilling experience. So I just captured something else on tape. Um, while I was actually taking the tape, I did not notice it at all, but you go ahead and take a look at it and tell me what you think. That's okay, how you know I just it's heard bad. a really loud noise coming up here from the same place where all the other stuff has been going on. Like something was dragging across the floor. Um, turn on the lights, like everybody says. <laughs> okay, come on. I know I heard something. I don't know. See, I don't know. What? What was that? And no, there's nothing I here. Have to this light down here. Alex doesn't notice it at the time, but he accidentally records what seems to be a pale face staring at him from a doorway. He starts to believe that whatever is making the strange noises and appearing in his videos might actually be the spirit of his deceased grandmother. Cut to another that. night, and Alex captures something absolutely terrifying. Okay, I am up here where all the different, like, scary activity has happened, and uh, I'm hearing what sounds like somebody walk around on the floorboards. As I'm up here, I can feel, like, the pressure of steps landing around me. Um, I don't really know what's going on. It's, uh, it just seems pretty f crazy to me. I, I just, this is, I don't know. This is not what I, I signed up for when I got this house. By itself. Oh, s***! Come on. Come on, what was that? Holy Holy shit. is there somebody in here or was that actually my fucking grandmother? Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh. I'm out! Moving! What I'm out! Oh my god. Absolutely not. The fucking robe is sitting there on the floor. Are you kidding me? Holy shit. Alex can't believe his eyes as right in front of him someone appears to be standing in his doorway. By the time he manages to collect himself, whoever or whatever it was has disappeared. So could it be that Alex's home is haunted by his grandmother? And if not, yep. then just what is this? Yep. I highly recommend that you watch Alex's full story over on his TikTok page, Alex Calvo is Haunted. A different perspective. Reddit user Bunny Toes says that she was home completely all alone with just her grandchild when she gave the baby her old phone to play with. The child accidentally starts recording a video and captures something chilling. Uh, <laughs> Let's change your butt. You smell like you poopy. Uh, Alright, look out the door. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's all right. Did you see it? Uh -huh. Reddit user Bunny Toes is shocked when she looks back at the footage. Her grandchild seems to have recorded a tall, shadow-like figure standing right behind them. The astonished Reddit user believes the apparition to possibly be her husband's deceased grandmother, who passed away six years ago on the exact same spot where the figure can be seen in the video. But is it a shadow figure or just a very strange trick of the light? Let me know down in the comments. The Haunting of Abiud Hernandez Alvarez Now the name Abiud Hernandez Alvarez might sound familiar to you because over the last year and a half I've featured his continuing frightening story. Abiud lives alone in an apartment in Mexico City and claims that he suddenly began to experience terrifying paranormal activity at all hours. Objects would move on their own, doors slam shut, and the sound of high heels and knocking were heard in the halls. Most horrifying of all, a strange female entity began to appear in mirrors around his house, and then the apparition even physically attacked Abiyud. In his last video posted to Facebook, he recorded a shocking encounter with the female spirit he calls Zaya. And oh then God. he just sort of disappeared for a while. Why is he still living there if he is? That could be true, but you gotta, you gotta get out of there. She's not sucking on nothing. She's, she's gonna make him hide in hell soon. Right, right, right. She's about to take him to hell. Yeah. Abiud has since they returned and adopted a cute little puppy named Milo. Yeah. It's not long before Milo starts to regularly react nervously to something that Abiud 
can't see. One night when Abiud is fast asleep in bed, a static camera records something very strange. as hell. Yep. What the fuck? Telling that dog to shut the hell up? Shit, I tell him to shut up too. Milo barks at something that we can't see and an ominous noise can be heard that seems to respond back to the little dog. It's almost as if little Milo is trying to protect his owner from something. Over time, Milo seems to form an odd attachment to a large teddy bear that we have seen in Abiud's videos before. The teddy bear, named Googie, often seems to just move on its own. <laughs> One day after frantically searching, Abiud can't seem to find the teddy bear anywhere. It's like it simply disappeared into thin air. Googie ha desaparecido y no entiendo por qué. Incluso estoy viendo aquí en el espejo. What? Hay como agua. I'm seeing there como si saliera water. De y toda esa agua se escurre y está directamente en el piso. Incluso de este lado también se puede ver como el agua está escurriendo. It's draining like from the chair. So there's a trail of water from where Googie was into the mirror, and that's where the ghost is always seen at. Mm -hmm. I don't trust that shit. Did you see it? Even though Abiud shows an empty chair, Googie the teddy bear can be seen sitting in the chair in the mirror's reflection. Oh, Even stranger, no. water appears to be seeping right from the mirror itself. Eventually, teddy bear Googie returns to its usual spot and all seems to be going well. Until one night. Abiud hears a very loud noise coming from the same room. He once again takes out his phone and starts to record. It did not go well. Man, I don't know, man. I don't be checking out no loud noises. Hey! Who, who's up in here? They about to get shot. They gonna get beat on. Unless you with that R. Kelly shit. You working out? Bruh, why does it look like the teddy bear is legitimately working out? On top of Gucci so it wouldn't move. Why are you whispering in your own house? Oh my god, it's all over the... What the hell? It's like water, but it's more viscous than that. In fact, I think it's not the first time. What's on the mirror? What was that on the mirror? Was that Naruto? Naruto Jinchuriki writing on the mirror? Oh, hell no. Run, bitch! Run, baby! Run, ho! Hey, you better run, man. Better get out of that! Where's the Retreat! The doll? the doll? Oh, the doll. What's that? An absolutely bizarre twist. What looks like a terrifying clone of himself charges toward Abiud, scaring him so much that he stumbles to the ground. When he gets back up, there's nothing there. Also, a strange symbol that wasn't there before now appears on the mirror. When Abiud checks out the living room, something dark seems to be standing. So that's why it looks like the Naruto sign on there. 
because they shadow cloned his black ass there with him, only visible in the reflection in the living room mirror. After this horrifying experience, Abby Ood takes his dog Milo on a long trip to just get away for a while. So, is Abby Ood Hernandez Alvarez's apartment really violently haunted? Or is it just some bizarre horror ARG? Either way, the videos are terrifying. And as always, I leave it up to you to decide. You can find Abby Ood's entire story and many more videos over on his Facebook page. The Tunnels. Founded in 1811, the seaside city of Astoria, Oregon has seen its fair share of dark history. In the I early 1920s, most of the city tragically burnt to the ground. It was rebuilt with concrete reinforced pylons, creating a creepy hidden underground tunnel system. Many of these tunnels served as underground living space for the very poor, but they were also home to a lot of violent criminal activity and were very unsafe. One of the unfortunate poor people who lived in the tunnels was a woman named Abigail. Abigail was a poorly paid seamstress in a tailor shop during the day, and at night, she lived a very hard life down in the dark tunnels beneath the shop. In 1972, Abigail saw no way out and ended it all. Her remains weren't found until a week after her passing. Another unfortunate soul that is said to inhabit the tunnels is allegedly that of a young girl named Sarah who is also said to have met her untimely death beneath the tailor shop. Over time, the underground tunnels were closed due to safety hazards. The tailor shop was sold and eventually became the Gully's Butcher Shop. Owner Diana Gully says that she has always had a bad feeling that someone or something might still be down in the tunnels beneath her store. Guests have taken photos in the basement of a mysterious entity that seems to be sitting in a chair. Others have gotten nasty headaches during their visits and some have even seen a large shadow figure. The story goes that one man visiting sat down in a chair but soon fell over and then quickly ran out. He claimed that what he believed to be the spirit of little Sarah came walking towards him and pushed him right out of the chair. Oh. Diana Gully has invited popular ghost hunters Ryan, River, Wyatt, and Skylar from the YouTube channel Twin Paranormal to investigate whether the stories are true and just who or what might be haunting the Gully's butcher shop. As Ryan is interviewing Diana about her store, River is busy setting up a static camera in the tunnels. He captures something downright chilling. So when you're checking things, maybe you could get a little bit more information yes. about that. See, some things may uh, appear differently. Mm -hmm. when we do some investigations, sometimes they'll trick you. What the f Earlier, you were saying that somebody was sitting there. Right. They could have gotten scratched on their face. Mm -hmm. Or could have just Ryan. Been, yeah. uh, a little bit too excitement in them doing it themselves. What the f***? What happened to you? Dude, I've never had this happen, ever. I was getting a shot, and I hear someone walking like this. Okay. And it came right behind my ear, and they're breathing really heavy. Oh, no. Wow. I've never had this happen. I almost just freaking lost it. You okay? <laughs> I'm okay, but that was really yeah. scary. Is that you running over here? Yeah, it was me running <laughs> over here. I've never had that happen. Now, a little freaked out, the team finishes their interview with store owner Diana and officially begins their investigation. Using a rim pod and two EMF meters, they begin to ask questions to the spirit of Abigail, and things just get weirder. That just went to red. That just yeah. went to red. Are you filming it? That went all the way to red. Yes. Can you spike this one it, as well? Mr. This one in my hand, please. Whoa! 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 Whoa. Whoa. Thank you. Thank you, Abigail, if this is you. Not one, not two, but all of their devices spike at the same time. The team moves on to a different section of the basement and their devices are still continuously spiking. That's when- I wonder how much money they get paid to hunt ghosts. And Ryan experiences something terrifying. We're only- This just keeps going off! Thank you! Riff, riff, riff. What? Somebody's right here. Somebody's right here. Are you over here with us? 
What? What? I just got what you got. Somebody's right here. Are you over here with us? What? What? I just got what you got. Something just took a deep, deep breath right by my ear. If I had a heart monitor right now, my heart is beating so fast. Just like his brother River, Ryan experiences and hears the breath of someone right next to his ear. But Damn that's that. not all that the twin paranormal Damn guys catch that. at Gully's Butcher Shop. Here's another object here in Skylar's hand. All you have to do is walk up to this object and you hold on to this antenna or get close to this metal rod that you see and it'll light up and it'll make noise. I'm going to go ahead and set it over here in this walkway if you can come over to us and use your energy. Give us a sign that you are here with that. Oh. Mm. Give us a sign that you are here with that. The unexplained shape of someone seemingly walking around down in the tunnels is captured on camera. The ghost hunters have no idea what their camera has just recorded, but they do hear footsteps coming from that direction. So could this be the spirit of Abigail? Could it be the ghost of little Sarah? Or something worse? Let me know what you think. The investigation at Gully's Butcher Shop is not over yet. Part 2 will be up on the YouTube channel, Twin Paranormal, very soon. The Legend of Kashima Reiko So the story with this next video goes that an anonymous Japanese man lost a bet with his friends, and so they dared him to explore an allegedly haunted forest completely alone. As nope. proof, he must film the entire experience. Huh? He hikes into the woods just as the sun goes down. What? As you might suspect, it did not go well. Oh, yeah. Why would anyone do this? Oh. Your friends don't love you. Is that poop? Oh hell no, that's some Blair Witch. Yeah, you know I man, that's some Blair Witch type shit. Yeah, exactly. It's about to be a stick dog. Bro. It's a killing crap in that thick tile. You ain't bring a car? Whoa. Yeah, he wild, dumb. That's bad, bro. You got 12 hours of... Nah, you got like 18, 16 hours of dark. You already kids. Bruh. Oh, toe, 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 toe. What the fuck? Those look like arms! That looks like that chick from the grudge crawling towards him. That looks like a, a torso-less woman crawling towards him! The pale disembodied torso of a woman appears to crawl her way out of the forest, getting closer and closer. The man makes a run for it and the video abruptly ends. Now Japanese viewers say that the mysterious video has a basis in the frightening urban legend of Kashima Reiko. The story says that the vengeful spirit of a woman is forever looking for her lost legs. And if she happens upon someone, she will take the legs of anyone she encounters. Thanks so much for watching. Please. Bro, that might be the most horrifying thing I've ever heard in my life. Oh my God, bro. She, she gonna take your legs, but she not gonna use them. She's just gonna keep taking other people's legs. So what's she doing with your legs? Yeah, she don't even need them, bro. She don't even need them. What, is she, what are you doing with my legs if you're not gonna use them? 
At least give me a good reason, like you taking them. Don't just that's scary. Take them just cause, like. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment, like, and don't subscribe. It's your boy Blasphemous HD. It's your boy Zaid. Twisms.